Welcome to Mobile Tech Heat. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Y'all, this is Anthony F. Are you Android.com? And here we are with an interview for our Slices of Android segment. This is from Arpit. He is a developer. Um, asked him a couple of questions and here's how he answered. So we asked him, of course, what's his preferred internet handle? And he's ARPIT on Twitter. So definitely follow him on Twitter and give him a ring. Let him know how you feel about his apps. His current profession is a software engineer at Comcast Innovation Labs. So he actually does this during the day. And then at night, he creates more apps. That's cool. Um, now, what model Android was his first? Well, he says here that his first Android was the Nexus 1, running Android 2.2. So sometimes you wonder about developers and how, you know, did they jump over from iOS and Apple or were they dedicated from the beginning? It looks like he's a serious developer because he bought the Nexus 1, which was Android's first official developer's phone. And he had it since Android 2.2, which was a while ago. And it was very limited back then. So he's been testing and using Android for a while. So he's, he's pretty experienced. Uh, number three, I asked him, how many Androids have you owned? And he said he's owned about 10 to 12. That is a lot. But when you're a developer, you have to do that. You have to own a lot to get a feel of the devices that you want to write for or create for. It's the same with uh, web developers. If you want to create a website, normally you have to download Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, Chrome, and everything else out there because you want to test to make sure that your website or web app works properly on each browser. So it's only, only understandable that Arpit also has 10 to 12 Androids. So number four is, uh, which one was your first rooted one? Well, he said he rooted his first uh, LG G2X a few years back, so that's cool. Not only is he a developer, but he's also a uh, he's a techie. He's rooted his Android phone. That's good. Number five asks, how often do you frequent Android-related forums? And he said pretty much every day, multiple times. So this guy here is a developer and a fan of Android. That's good to hear. He's not doing it just for money. He actually loves what he's doing. Um, as a side... He is the creator of the uh, video that we just did prior, um, the Faves uh, TV app widget, where you can actually monitor your TV programs and see when, see when your next favorite program is coming up in a widget form. He's the guy that did it. So number six asks, do you get tips from the forums or do you give tips? And he said, I don't know as much as folks on XCA, so there I usually get them. But I tried to contribute back on Reddit and Stack Overflow. So that's good. He understands his limitations, but he knows where to go to get the answers. XCA Developers is the one, as well as Reddit, uh, under Reddit Android, subreddit rather, and also Stack Overflow, which I don't go to too much, but that must be a place to be for Android too. So we'll check that out a little bit later. Number seven question is, why are you still with Android? Well, he says that he really likes the Android operating system. He likes the uh, customizability, <laughs> of course. And there are some apps that are uniquely Android that he can't live without, like Tasker. Yes, Tasker is a very, very, very important app that uh, iOS, I believe, don't have. I might have heard that they have something like that, but I think they might have Tasker for the jailbroken iPhone. Also, the fact that uh, he can try building apps without paying a yearly fee or getting permissions to distribute his apps is really nice. Because with Apple, you have to buy a yearly fee, I believe. And it feels like, you know, you're paying them to make apps. It's not really a good feeling. So the number eight question is, are you currently using the latest version of Android? And he says, yep, on his Nexus 4. We know that he can root. We know he's good with ROMs. So, of course, he does have the latest Android. Uh, number nine asks, what is Android's biggest flaw? Well, he said it's not really a flaw, but he's still finding animations on some competitor platforms smoother. Android 4.3 is pretty smooth, but it can get better. And yes, and, uh, Google has uh, admitted that there's room for improvement, 
Uh, we know that they with 4.2 added the butter or made things run a little bit smoother. But of course, it can do even better, and that's okay. Move for improvement. The last question is, what is your favorite ROM? Because we know that he's a rooter. He's a real Android techie. Well, he loves the MIUI. Boy, it's beautifully designed and very customizable with themes. So we know that uh, the MIUI Android ROMs basically look like Apple. I'm sorry, they do. They look like Apple. Looks like iPhone with Android custom customability and Android function. Uh, it seems like, unfortunately, at the time, at, at present, Apple design is smoother. So we know this guy is, a, is an app developer. If you go to his apps, you see that he does love design. So, okay, I can see that he loves the MIUI also. And that's okay. So this is Anthony F. here. Just did a quick interview with Arpit. Uh, developer uh, take a look at it I'll put it in the show links for his app it's Anthony F. Are you Android?